probably doesn't really need an introduction. <laughs> and, you know him as he teaches physics, and chemistry, and honors chemistry. And I'll give it off. students in physics classrooms 
And what they compare is traditional methods, which were defined as more passive. Uh, students sat through lectures, did algorithmic problem solving, and learned physics that way. Versus uh, interactive engagement techniques. Interactive engagement techniques focused on hands-on learning, where discussion followed that gave immediate feedback to students for, uh, through discussion with either other students or with the professor. And what they found, I think, is most impressive here is that when you look up here, all of the interactive engagement techniques, all the, all the games in classrooms with interactive engagement techniques are superior to that of a traditional, more lecture traditional centered classroom, whether it be at the high school level, the college level, or the university level. In addition, it didn't matter the experience of the teacher. Less experienced teachers with interactive engagement techniques outperformed direct method, direct instruction, traditional method teachers of people who are around the same experience. And the key thing I love about this data is it's scientifically collected over 6,000 students, one of the largest studies conducted at its time. I think the problem with studying education and trying to reform education is that everyone has an opinion on education because everyone has been through education. The issue with that is each and every one of you represent one trial. And if you've had a science class, is one trial sufficient to base a claim on? You got it. So what we really need to do is promote more extensive and systematic research, getting some innovative ideas out there, and actually studying the process and continuing to develop and improve education for the students, not for the teacher. I have a bit of a hypothesis in this. I'll give you that. I'm not quite neutral on the subject. I'm a big believer in these interactive engagement techniques. And so we need to design a study. Let's take the analysis. Here's your study. Take the techniques. Put them against traditional methods. Put interactive engagement up against traditional methods. Come up with innovative ideas to collect the data, study the data, and look at student achievement. And I think the results will be there. The proof will be in the pudding. And I believe this because I think the focus of the classroom needs to change. In the past, we were so focused on students being able to listen to a teacher, listen to what was important, memorize the important facts, memorize the date, memorize the detail, and be able to recall that information on a test. And kind of a mechanistic approach to education. There's so much information out there today that we can't have this role anymore. I think our classroom ideas need to shift. We need to quit making students that just sit and listen. We need students that explore, that involve, them, involve themselves in the process of education. We need to put a premium on exploration in the classroom. We need to take away that focus on just memorizing and focus more on invention. What kind of ideas do you have to come up with to look at the problems you're facing in the world that you're about to enter? And how will you innovate and how will you explore that world? And I think we need to focus as well on application. How will you take those ideas that you've learned, the data that you've collected, and how will you process that and use it in your life to improve your life and those around you? I think that needs to be the focus of our classroom. That needs to be the focus of education. And I think that if you study the data, you conduct the experiments, I'm hoping my hypothesis will be proved true, and that is this, that traditional instruction and lecture will die. Nay, it must die for you to be successful. There's too much information out there. I, as a teacher, can't decide what you should know from that information. It's not my job to be the sage on the stage. I can't be that person. I don't think any teacher can be that person. We are not the sources of knowledge. We're not the experts. Sorry to bring it to you, we don't know everything. Okay? We know our field. I can help you learn how to do science. Can I teach you everything we know in science? No, I cannot. But I can help be your guide by the side. I can help provide those opportunities for you. And when you get into the classrooms, you go into college, try to seek out those opportunities so that you can find the information, decide what information is important, and know what to do with it so that you can learn from that process rather than someone trying to tell you what's important. We need our students to be able to think and reason, not to listen and memorize. I'd like to finish up with a couple of quotes that I, I found uh, that feel really relevant to the, uh, the things we're trying to do as an education system and myself as a teacher. First being from the psychologist B.F. Skinner. The real problem is not whether machines think, but whether men do. And you've seen the, uh, you've seen the old, uh, matrix, things like that. We're all scared of the machines. We don't need to be scared of the machines, we need to be scared of us. We need people that can think and reason. I like to say, I don't want a robot in my classroom. I don't want someone to write something down off of a PowerPoint and spit it back to me on a test. I want people that can think. I don't want people to be robots, I want people to be able to think and design and build the robot. People to understand when the robot doesn't work, how to fix it, and how to take that robot and use it to do meaningful things in the world around them. And the last thing I'd like to point out here, 
We need people to change the game. We don't need to change the players in education. The players are there, the players are many. You can change the player. We need to change the game. As the saying goes, don't hate the player, hate the game. We need to change the game. And last, you know I say it, lecture must die. Traditional methods must die. You know, you might not agree with that. You might say, I took a lecture class, I learned just fine. That's great. If nothing else today, hopefully what we can do is start facilitating a discussion. This discussion will hopefully continue as you collaborate with your peers, as you graduate from this level, move on to the next, as you learn in class tomorrow, the next day, or the day after that. Have that discussion. Collaborate with each other. When you collaborate with each other, hopefully you can come to consensus. And through this process of discussion, collaboration, sense making, and coming to consensus, you'll be able to make the, make the decisions that will impact the future. If you improve education, you improve thinkers. You improve thinkers, you get better ideas. You get better ideas, you get better people, and a better world. And after all, isn't that what education is all about? Yeah.